Hey everyone who's there. I see we have a few participants who are in. I'm gonna give them a few more minutes to let people join and then I'll get underway. Before we get started, uh, welcome to Tobo Tuesdays, this is uh, Tuesday trainings. This is going to be a, a weekly uh, meeting we'll be having to allow users to come in and join. And I'll be teaching a, you know, about a topic within Tobo, either a feature that's available. And then I'll open up the floor to Q&A and uh, allow you guys to ask, um, you know, any in-depth questions you may have related to the topic or not. I'm here to assist and, um, you know, a way that we can open up the floor, allow the speak to our users directly. So... This week's Togo Tuesday, we're going to be focusing on utilizing our advanced manual takeoff tools. So this is an outline of today's presentation. We're going to discuss what are the advanced manual takeoff tools. We're going to also dive into how do we utilize the advanced manual takeoff tools and what rules there are associated with utilizing these features. I'll do a live demo of the tool. And then I'll open up the floor for a Q&A first about the topic. And then after that, we can go ahead and continue and speak about any other questions you guys may have about the software, anything else I can help address for you uh, at the moment. So these are our advanced manual takeoff tools. When you're in Togo on the editor, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's a menu available. And then these are the tools that are available to you. There's merge, cut and subtract, split, join lines, and cut lines. So each of these tools have different ability based on, you know, for area classifications and linear classification adjustments. So, so for merge, um, the merge, cut, and subtract, and split are all going to be affecting our area classifications. Merge will allow us to add on additional square footage. Cut and subtract allows us to subtract out or cut out a space within an existing area classification. Split allows us to just basically take a knife and split a polygon in half. For linear classifications, we have join line and cut lines. So our join lines allow us to, uh, you know, join two points together to extend a line to make it from, you know, two individual segments to one large segment. And then cut lines is the reverse operation where we're going to take one long line at a point in the middle and cut it to be two individual lines. So for the merge tool, like I mentioned before, to add on additional square footage to an existing area classification. I have a little video going on showing you how we can utilize that. The rule utilizing this tool is that you have to, your first point must start inside the polygon and your last point also has to end inside the polygon. So as you see here in this little clip, um, when it restarts, I first have to draw a point within the orange polygon itself. And then I'll go ahead and go out and trace where I want to extend to this additional room. And then again, when I want to end off before I double click, I need to finish back off, off inside the original polygon I started from. 
There's also a hotkey. So to activate the merge key, you can come over here to the left side of the menu and click that little icon, or you can hit M on your keyboard. And this will allow you to immediately activate that tool no matter where you are. Oh, went too quick. Next is cut and subtract. So using the cut and subtract tool, this, um, there we go. So this cut and subtract tool allows us to cut footage away from an existing area classification or cut out a space within it um, to, you know, redefine that area. Like you have, you know, for example, a border tile going on, and then you have, you know, a centerpiece in the middle, as you see here. So with the subtract, when you subtract from an edge, it doesn't matter. You, um, you have to start outside and kind of just trace it around. As you saw the first example up here, and you can cut away, which is super friendly and useful. You no longer do you have to go and try to delete those points to modify it. You can just activate the cut and subtract and cut out directly from the edge, as you see here. And then with the cut and with the, the cut tool itself, as you see, you cut away at the middle of a polygon. And you'll notice that when your mouse hovers over that rectangular shape, it turns gray. This is notifying you that you can fill that hole or fill that space. So I can fill it with um, an existing classification, or I can fill it and create a new classification to fill its place. So it's this symbol you see here, the second one right below merge, that is your cut and subtract. And the hotkey to activate it is C. If you hit C on your keyboard, you'll be able to immediately activate it without having to come over to the left-hand side of the menu to um, start it. Next is a split tool, one of my favorite. The split tool allows us to cut or to split an individual polygon into two separate po individual polygons. So, you know, if we needed to break out one large polygon that Toggle performed for us, we can cut it down to multiple bits and reclassify those areas with ease. Um, the rule, though, with using this tool is that you have to start outside the polygon and finish outside the polygon. So you see, when I'm cutting, I may cut like dramatically outside of it, just defining that first point. And then I will go ahead and start tracing inside where I want to split. And again, I need to finish outside. So the hotkey for the split tool is S uh, on your keyboard. And it is the third symbol down. It looks like a square with a dashed line going between it. Joining lines, we make it easy in Toggle. This allows you to uh, join two segmented or linear segments together to form one single line, as you see here. So what you do is you just grab the endpoint of one line and drag it and align it over the endpoint of another, as you see in this little video right there. Uh, what I recommend as a rule is first to select the line you want to you know, pick and then drag the other point over it just to define it. I, so I wouldn't activate the tool until I selected my line initially. And to activate the join line tool, it's the fourth symbol down. It's the one that looks like two dots that are connecting together. Or you can hit J on your keyboard, and that's the hotkey for join lines. Next is cutting lines. This allows us to take one linear segment and cut it into two individual linear lines with ease. So the way it works is that you have to zoom in and you see there's a gray dot. Once you activate the tool, that is letting you know where you're basically adding another point, right? Separating this line, similar to our, our other points that you see at the end of polygons and lines currently. Uh, it's a quick way for you to modify and you know adjust your linear footage. If you have like, you know, instead of having one merged line, if you need to break it out to have, you know, well, wallpaper in one area of the wall, and then you have paint the rest of the way, you can use that cut feature to quickly cut that line into two segments. And to do that, uh, you would just click here on the fifth symbol down here, which it looks like it's a line being cut in half. And the hot key to activate it is X on your keyboard. So I'm gonna jump over to Togo and do a brief demo of each of these features, show you how we can utilize it. And then I'll open up the floor for any questions and answers. So here, I went, I went ahead and ran Togo on this plan for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and just filter down to my net area real quick. And I'll show you how we can utilize the uh, merge, cut and subtract and split tool on a few area polygons. So I'm just gonna rename a few here, right click, create an assign, call it my LVT flooring, save and filter, perfect. So as we see here, Togo, it looks like Togo messed up here and uh, you know missed part of our um, closet here. 
you know, I can zoom in, I can add a point and realign it if I wanted to. Or in this scenario, this is where the split tool will be very useful. So instead of trying to add another point, I can just come over here and click on merge. Or I apologize, our merge tool. I can add a point inside, then go ahead and draw and add a point, add a point. And then once I'm back in here, just double click to finish. And as you see, it completed that opening that we left. In addition to that, with the merge, we can add on to an existing space. So I can click here and add a point on the inside, go ahead and trace out the rest of a room. Allowing you to quickly add on to an existing polygon. No longer do you need to draw two polygons and you know try to line them up to get proper square footage. You can just line it up this way and you'll be able to increase your, your square footage with ease. Done. Next is cut and subtract. So again, with cut and subtract, you would come over here and click this icon. Uh, it's one, two, three, fourth icon down from the top from the pointer. I can click here or I can hit C on my keyboard and that would activate it. And so if I want to subtract out or cut out any space, as you see, I start outside and just remove the areas I want to remove. If I picked up too much square footage and it'll cut out exactly the way we want. We can also do a diagonal line if I hold shift, right? We can cut out any space we need and then, or subtract out any space we need. And then if we want to cut an area, we can come over here and just click in the middle of a polygon and start subtracting out the area you want. And then you can come back. And as you see, when you when you hit escape and go back to your pointer or select mode, you'll see the box turns gray. And from here, we can right click and I can assign and fill this classification or I can create and fill the hole. So, you know, this is carpet here, for example. Come here, fill with carpet, pick a different color, a different pattern, et cetera. Next is a split tool. So let's say, you know, this part of the corridor up top has a different finish than the rest of the corridor, you know, or they have carpet only going down to the center and the, the sides of the corridor, they wanted to put tile for some reason. So we can split it. So I would come over here and click, click on the split icon, which is, which is the fifth icon down from the top. And what I do again, the rule of thumb is you have to start outside the polygon and finish outside the polygon. And it, it doesn't have to be defined. Like I can come out all here and split it too, right? And I can split as many times as I need to. In addition, I can do custom split. So just like with cut and subtract, I can come in here and do any custom shape I need to split the polygon with ease. Now these polygons are all broken out into individual segments. At one moment, they were all one large polygon, and now they individualize. So now we'll switch over to the lines. And I'll show you how we can join lines and cut lines. Here you know, classification. Okay, perfect. So, you know, let's just say this line wasn't here, and we needed to connect this line to that line. So the way we would do the join lines is you first would select a polygon or the line that you want to join. And then you come over here and click on the join line symbol, which is a six item down from the top. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the gray point and drag it and line it up with another endpoint of a polygon or another line. So here, zoom out. Looks like we grabbed it, control Z. We would just grab the point and then line it up here and boom, it's going to be one large line now. And if we need to break it off into an individual segment, I can zoom in, I can hit X or come over here and click on my cut line, which is the seventh icon down. And I can just add a point and cut the line. And that will break out my linear segments to be individual. So it's a great way, again, if you have, for example, you know, here we have windows that are interrupting in this one long line. I can hit X real quick, zoom in, you know, add a point, add a point. And now my window is broken out. I want to get my individual window square footage here. And it looks like I, I cut it by accident. So now I'll just hit J and line these two lines up to join them. I made a mistake. And now they're rejoined as one long segment.
Perfect. So I'm going to open up the, the floor for any questions with regards to these advanced manual tools. Let me know if you guys have any questions right now. See how we can do it. Maybe if you guys raise your hand or something you can do and I, and I can respond to each of you. Or if you guys want to type a question, I'm trying to see what I can do to help you guys. I don't see any questions coming in. I don't know if I'm missing anything. All right, and then after this, we'll go ahead and open up the floor to any general total questions you guys may have for me, and we can go through that together. One second. 